Mona Hustle Show, Head Crack, and L'Oreal. And we have two of the biggest actors in the game right now. And they have an amazing film that's out called Fantasy Football. We're going to make some noise for Amari Hardwick and for Rome Flint. Love that. Oh, okay, that let me just tell y'all. That girl has spoken. Let me tell you. I watched the movie. Oh, man, I watch love the movie. It's good. so good. I'm a little mad and upset that I didn't watch it with my nephew. I watched watch it by it myself, watch but I'm going to watch it again. Okay. okay. Nice. So this is a great movie, great film. And Thank the two you. of you guys did an amazing job. And I'm almost surprised that y'all are sitting so close to each other and being cool <laughs> right now. because Y'all beefing, right? Yeah, yeah we, it was smoke. It we was, was smoke. Cool. It was, you know, but then the smoke faded by the It cleared at the end. Yeah, it but, cleared at the yeah, end. Yeah. Now, you can see that y'all had the football pass somewhere up in there. You used to play football yeah, before, right? For sure. Did you uh, too? In high school, maybe one year I did. Oh, yeah, we could tell. Yeah. Mm -hmm. No, I'm joking. Word? <laughs> wow. I actually didn't have a stunt double. I was like that. You did? Yeah. So yeah. No, I did. Yeah. I did. I I shout out my stunt double, that. man. Yeah. He was so, good. So, y'all did have stunt doubles for the film? Yeah, Quint. We had Greg and Quinn. Okay, so they those both, dances weren't yours. No, the dance is all us. <laughs> he did the dance. He did. Yeah. Oh, Quinn did the worm. Okay, so I was that was the main dance that I was like, Quinn nah, did there's the no worm, way. did the worm, and then I did, but I broke dance growing up. I'm right here from, from, from the haters, shouting. Yeah. We break, I'm on the first leg of break dancing. So you were supposed to do it yourself, but yeah, it just I didn't, didn't do that. But that I also way. tore my knee in the movie, so the the worm was happening after the knee was. So I couldn't do that. So in real mm -hmm. life, you got injured in the movie. Oh, I thought you meant you really hurt yourself too. No, in the movie I tore my knee while filming. He did really. Yeah. Oh yeah. And then what happened? I just I did surgery. I'm three months out of surgery. No way. Yeah. You had to be off your leg and everything. Yeah, but it's all good. Yeah. I'm used to that. I really do. You know, come from football, so the injuries right. I, wasn't my first. So around. what happens when things like that happen on set? Because that's something that's unpredictable, right? We kept filming. We kept filming. We made sure that. So shout outs to uh, Spence Bailey, who's from. Uh, Spring Hill, you know, one of our production companies. Obviously, we have Marseille's incredible company, Genius, mm -hmm. but also LeBron uh, James and Maverick's incredible company, Spring Hill. So representing Spring Hill on the set most of the days were Spence. And uh, Spence will whisper to me, hey, oh, go lighter on this one or whatever. But by the time Rome and I got through the thicket of the competition, the the knee had been torn. So we were able to do some of the running after the knee was torn. Wow. So some of the hobbling is... You know, but Rome wasn't wrong. His character wasn't wrong in saying, you know, you like a little, you like that old dog that somehow gets up them steps. <laughs> you dig deep. I, I had to actually dig deep in the movie to mm -hmm. get through it. But does that bother you? Because you know, you're a sex symbol. Still, I'm not on, I don't right? know about the sex symbol part. You are though. Well, okay, you, you said don't think it. so? Women love you. Okay, women love you. the both of you. God right? bless you, women. So when God you have you. when you have a situation <laughs> or you're playing a role where it's like, when, oh when man, my, when my sexy is jeopardized, does that mess you up a little bit? <laughs> No, uh, you, do you think about it, that? Did it mess me up? No, man. You got a little, little pimp walk, man. You got a pimp walk. There's a little pimp walk in there. Yeah, and y'all both have been video vixens. Because you was in say, say Yes, correct? <laughs> yes. Yeah, see? Yeah. Look at that. But I can't, but that's from the poetry side of me. Okay. So it's, well, it's not really. I mean, But that yeah. you still was a vixen. And no, so because Marsha, <laughs> shout out to Marsha Ambrosia. She's a real dear friend. I've done about three songs with her. Maybe even more than that, but we do music together. And yeah. So I foundationally in music. There's a lot of music in me. Yeah. A lot of those mm -hmm. cats, most and Talib and all of them. A lot of the older cats know me from music. Big Daddy Kane. They know me music, and then I kind of went into acting, and the acting popped first. That's crazy. So I think a lot of and so Roman, I had an immediate intrinsic connection because he's musical. Mm -hmm. Obviously Kelly Rowland is as musical as they get, and Marseille was dancing in between takes all day. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it's a musical set. Those yeah. were the, very I love that. Yeah. The, those were the real fun parts of the movie where you almost want to get up and start dancing your dance yeah. stuff. But I want to know what, what Rome was in video wise. I didn't know you were I did one video, Talk man. Talk to me. No, what I was did. you, bro? <laughs> Chloe Bailey. I did one video with Chloe, man. She yeah. hit me up and I did her a favor. Yeah. Um, so, yeah. Have yeah. mercy. Would Correct. you do another one? Mm -hmm. No. The right video? No. Besides Why? your own? Um, I, I appreciate that form of art, you know, but... um. It depends on who it is. I won't yeah, say yeah, no. right. If it, it really yeah. depends, you know. Um, but Chloe hit me. I was like, yeah, I think that'd be smooth. I think we look fire together. Mm -hmm. We did something like that, so we did, and it was people, yeah, it was people liked it. I'm gonna yeah. go find that. I didn't see that. Mm -hmm. I've seen so much of his work, yeah. but I didn't know about that. Yeah, so because I, I first uh, heard about you from How to Get Away with Murder, yeah. of course. And then when I seen the video, I'm like, okay, look at him stepping out. Doing his thing. <laughs> stepping out. <laughs> Being video stepping out. Stepping Damn. out of the show. Being a little bit Damn. of video hub. No. Wow, that's crazy. <laughs> well, I'm hey, joking. It's all good. <laughs> okay, let's get back to football. So, do any of y'all play fantasy football? 
I don't. You don't? Like the actual thing? No. Yeah. I'm no. I even, I'm in a league. I bet you are. you I'm around shocked. Around the office, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Do you do pretty but good like at it? I like football, so. I'm glad you like it. Yeah, so that's why the movie to me was, yeah, I do do good at it. Last year I was second in place, so I guess yeah. not that good because I didn't win. But they help you draft or you know how to draft? You got no, it? No, I know how to draft. Right. Yeah, yeah. You did all yourself? Okay, bet. Yeah, mm -hmm. I mean, they make it a little easy for you when it comes to it, down to it, yeah. but still. So, um. I know once upon a time you said that you don't like when people call you by your character's names and that was a big thing that went viral. Has that stopped since you made it clear that you don't like that? I don't think I ever... Uh, it's, it's it's interesting. We could never not like people giving us love and roses and yeah. flattering, mm. adulation, whatever you make it. So if you're calling me by my name, is that? Mm -hmm. I've never stated that I don't like that. Mm -hmm. I don't like when anybody tries to handcuff me to one particular thing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Anyone. Yeah. So fans need to hear, oh, he means anyone. You can't, Omari Hardwick going home to deal with my kids and the mother of my kids, if they try to handcuff me to be in one thing. You don't like that. But I mean, yeah. would you? No, I don't like being put in a box mm -hmm. of anything. I'm glad you just said it to the world. Yeah. So as long as Magic Johnson has been able to be not Irvin, but Magic what? The massive businessman. Right. Jay, what did Jay-Z say years ago? He said a lot of things. No, the so. business. Okay. What did he say about that? What's that line, Rome? Mm. I'm not a businessman. I'm a businessman. Business mm -hmm. mm -hmm. That's what you want to be seen as. Right. Because you also are given permission for others to see themselves in that same light. So you could call somebody Tiger all day, Air Fish Jordan all day, LBJ, LeBron, Bron, whatever you want to call them. You could call... Magic, again, is a great one. You could call them and you say, oh, you're talking about athletes. Well, sure, because there's many a nickname that come with athletes. Mm -hmm. But our nicknames are character names. Mm -hmm. So whether Rome in his role in How to Get Away with Murder didn't have the leading role, which then would have afforded him more stickability to people sticking him to a character name. Right. Ghost was the quarterback. Yeah. But Omari played Ghost. Ghost didn't make me. Mm -hmm. so forever we're in a social media world now going forward but there was a moment in time where there was no social media to keep pervasively this movement going right. uh, that's who he is yeah so as long as you call me ghost and you put with it your belief i can be everything you can call me ghost all day long <laughs> you <laughs> right. can get rid of ghost i mean omari you can get rid of my last name you can walk up and say ghost i just saw that movie you did last week man incredible or yeah. ghost i saw that movie you did don't really rock with it but keep doing you that's a beautiful thing. Mm -hmm. But if you tell me to be ghost while calling me ghost, mm. yeah, they want to keep you there. Right. That's a real problem for me. I, I really don't even see that happen. Like, it's just interesting in our culture, you know, I don't see that happening to my, my white counterpart. Ever. Yeah. I don't really ever see that, you know. No, uh, but I see it in the comments with, with ghosts, you know. Oh, they say, yeah, ghost playing football. It's like, yeah. I understand the the what happens. It, it becomes herd herd mentality. Mm -hmm. That's a good way so to put people it. will attach themselves to an ideology without ha thinking it themselves first. Right. So if they go to the comments and it's thousands of comments and most of them saying ghost this, ghost that. Oh, and then the next person's gonna say ghost this. They get ten likes, ten, twelve likes. Oh, I'm gonna keep doing that now. Mm -hmm. They don't even know where the hell it come from. Yeah. You know what I mean? So that that for me, I feel them on that. You know, because people will like to box you in and and try to minimize you. And he's so much bigger and greater than yeah, that role, you know, and done so many great things after that. And career wise, I feel like it kind of hinder you if people do listen to those kind of things. When I watched the film, I definitely didn't see ghosts. Right. I saw, you know <laughs> what I mean? I saw an amazing football play. Mm -hmm. Like, I really believed you played for the damn Atlanta. I almost said Hawks. So, you know, that's bad. The Falcons. <laughs> <laughs> So I thought I, you so, liked football. What's going on? Well, I'm a Raiders uh, fan, oh, and word. I go see the Jets because my little nephew played for them. Right. So that's about it. Like I'm not. I stick to my team. Yeah, yeah. I feel but it. Um, so no, we really, I really came from that, and I played high school basketball. And as much as Rome played high school football, but it's more so a basketball guy. Rome and I both know sports. We yeah. really, and I think we walk in in a room, and you go, "Oh, they're athletes." Yeah. You can't. You know what I mean? So it's some athletes cut across the green, and we became actors. And mm -hmm. so there's that. But then some people can go play as actors. And I know that as a little brother of mine who is talented, to the left is someone who knows he wants to avoid the trappings of that which he's seen Big Bro deal with. Right. So he's basically asking me permission by not asking me, hey, oh, can I be everything? Of course. The title is actor. It mm -hmm. means do everything that you feel like you can act out. Yeah. So if you can act out comedy, 
then do it. Yeah. If you can act out being a father while not actually being a father, do it. You know how dare it go the other way around when musicians come to our world and try acting all the time and nobody makes a comment. Nobody. But if an actor tries to go do music, people go, come on, man, don't do that. That's true. <laughs> That's not fair. Y'all got it rough, don't y'all? I don't know There's what it worse is. Things. I don't yeah. know what it is. It ain't rough. It ain't rough. I it's just it no, because it could be so you know. so much more easier to do so many different things if you don't have people just coming it's, at you. It's, it's minimized. Yeah, it's minimized. The acting thing has been minimized. See, I never thought about that because well, I feel I like mean, a lot memes, of people. Memes. Yeah, they well, applaud like a Joey well, Badass. But you put a meme. Omari in a heavy scene in 1980. Could you put a meme? Denzel getting it in. In a phenomenal way, did you put a meme to him getting it in? Mm -hmm. uh -uh. You can have a crying scene now that tugs at the heart of your grandma. And then you show grandma the meme. And yeah. grandma goes, why do, why are they making fun of that scene? Yeah. So you've now minimized Everything's it. Everything's a damn joke. <laughs> Everything. <laughs> so yeah. that's Rome's point about the culture. We will never not love our culture. Me and Rome have doubled the duty of job, Marseille and Kelly included, at just with this beautiful, humble platform we've been gifted with with bringing the culture up a bit. Not saying that we're not part of the problem. we just as flawed as the next man. But in what we've been tasked the duty of doing is equally educating the culture to think of each other right. in the mm -hmm. biggest of light. Yeah. Our white colleagues don't do that. They don't meme each other. Mm -hmm. They make every role so incredible. Oh, you should have gotten an Emmy for that. That's right. We take the role and go, ah. Yeah. I can do this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Matter of fact, I'm going to put a wig on and I'm going to do it on Instagram and TikTok. <laughs> it's, the minima, yeah. it's the minimization that we want to get past. And, and I think we all, I hope people hear this interview and say, I, Omari said we. Yeah, Omari included. Yeah. You know, I definitely don't do that. It's not my nature to do that. I just want people to be huge. So yeah. it's never my nature to minimize. But I definitely include myself in the culture when saying, if the culture minimizes, then Omari's not outside looking at the culture or above the culture going, y'all need to get that together. Yeah. I'm saying we got to do better. We got we to gotta allow each other to be huge. Well, allow for the culture, you did yeah. participate in a movie where you have a black family who is successful but still going through struggles. And, you know, I think that's something that's extremely relatable. And uh, the father-daughter relationship is something that I absolutely love mm. because, you know, they tend not to show that in some of our films. Mm. But... You did do something in the movie where you said, don't tell your mother, right? Yes. So have y'all ever been put in that situation <laughs> yes. as kids where one of your parents was like, listen, don't tell the other parent, but uh, That's this. That's a great question. I like that you asked that. <laughs> Thank you, you. Ron? Um, I can't say that I have. Um, He's still keeping the secret. <laughs> yeah, I told him I never tell. Nah. Uh, <laughs> my family structure wasn't like that. So it's like I, I can understand the playing devil's advocate in a, in a situation where there's equal partnership mm -hmm. uh, when raising, but my mom raised us, you know, for the most part. Yeah, so yeah. there was nobody else for it. What she told me was all I had to know. There's so how about an aunt or something that was like, oh, uh, we're going to do this, but don't tell your mom. Take I mean, I'm sure there was moments where yeah. like, I'm going to give you this, don't tell your mom, yeah. you know, but all, you in good, all in good nature, but in the film, super different. It's such a huge thing. Yeah, yeah, that was I a big thing. I don't think I've ever been in a position where I had known something and didn't tell my mom or something yeah. like that. You know what's crazy? Speaking of acting and ability, what I thought, and people won't catch this, and I just caught it, what I thought Rome inserted in his character best was the juggle of kind of doing this to the father of the family you speak about. Mm. But he lifted up Kelly's character and Marseille's character. That's yeah, true. He did. Oh, this is the beautiful Keisha and Kelly. So you go, that's art imitates life, or vice versa? It's both. Rome just said, I grew up in a family where the structure wasn't as family oriented mm -hmm. in the way that you'd want the Cosby element of look to yeah. be. Mm -hmm. He inserted his real life into the way he ingratiated the mama and the daughter in the movie, yeah, but true. did this to the father. Like, It's just good work as an actor. And <laughs> yeah. he's always hitting me up about acting tips. I'm like, <laughs> or he's not, not even acting tips. We collaboratively had talked about acting and the craft of acting, but he's hitting me up about what he shouldn't do or in terms of what roles to say yes or no to, but what he inserted in that, I, it just hit me when you were asking him that question. Like, he did that. He elevated the women mm -hmm. in the family. Yeah. And it was like, but y'all's husband and pop sucks. Yeah. And I'm gonna take his well, job times 30. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I thought that was a good, people won't catch that he did that yeah. with the women. Yeah. But I, but I caught, I just Well, Anderson that. needed them though. But that's what I'm saying. Because if, if they all but, turn on but, him, then you but also know, Rome, But also, Rome didn't have it as much growing up. He had the woman. So you were able mm -hmm. to insert. I'm making the woman mm. the powerful. Yeah. But that's just art imitating life. But that, oh, right, that's what and I'm saying. And it all worked yeah. out. So when people think anybody can do that, nah. Because it's super 
super brave to take your own childhood dysfunction. That's right. Because we all have them. Mm-hmm. And then insert it in that which you put food yeah. on the table. Doing. No, that that's real true. That is not an easy thing to do. That's there, real so. true. And you also, uh, what about, okay, your characters. When you are stuck in a certain role, right? Because you practice these roles and this is something that you become while you do these movies and these shows. Has it ever taken you some time to like get out of your mind being in the character's mind? Do you mm. understand what I mean? I've done too much work for it to take some time. Meaning I did the nine movies that I did during power, during power. Mm -hmm. The world only knows it via Hulu and Netflix. They do math and go, he looks, that that's not an age gap. He must have done this while doing power. Whether Mm -hmm. they want to believe it or not, Mm -hmm. they know the math on that. I did it on purpose. So to not only give the world permission to be everything that they feel in their bag they could be, Mm -hmm. which is me doing in between the hiatus moments of power, But equally to your great question, that's another great question. It allowed me to be able to take myself out of Ghost every summer. Now, during the week, I probably, definitely Jay and the kids would say differently. I probably brought home some some bullshit. But over, you know, after that week, like, and then you get better over the years. Mm -hmm. Power's different for me because it was a series. When you do a movie, you got time to, the series is seven years of doing the same shit. So it's kind of like you do get stuck in that Mm -hmm. And you put it in your pocket forever. Yeah. I'm telling you, one of my homegirls, she just finished doing a movie and she's like playing real gangster in it. And we'll be talking. She's like, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, who are you talking to? <laughs> this is not the movie. Like, you got to kind of bring it back. And then she'd be like, oh, man, I wasn't even thinking about it. But you it. need family and love and, mat- <laughs> and maturity to do it. Mm. Yeah. Family, love, and maturity. Mm. That's why the minimization is not good for us as a culture. Mm. Yeah. We need to give roses and love and go, hey, go go do something else. Mm-hmm. Go step away. Yeah. Because it allows you to t- take it a reprieve. I mean, mm-hmm. Tupac, we could forever... Rome said that at one point he had a tattoo, only God can judge me. And, and that's so intrinsically connected to Tupac and mm-hmm. what we all love, no matter what age. We love Michael Jackson, we love Tupac. But Tupac in that brazen, audacious, not just mentality of that of an artist, but he's an activist. Yeah. Did Bishop affect Tupac? Did we see a hybrid of Tupac Amaru Shakur, formerly known by the world of that which is his mom, because she named him Lassane. Mm-hmm. A lot of people don't know that unless they really love Pac. Mm-hmm. Lassane became Tupac Amaru Shakur, sort of raised by Matula and all of them other activists. And yet, at times, in our real-life world of seeing him in behavior, he sounded like Bishop from Juice. He did sometimes. But he was too young, meaning lack of maturity doesn't allow him to know how to take Bishop and go, let me put you over there for a minute. you driving yeah. me crazy. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. These characters can drive us crazy. Yeah. So love and family and people understanding you need a moment and grace and mercy. It's, a, it's two mm-hmm. words needed yeah. in our culture more. Give each other grace and mercy yeah. to fall down, fuck up, get back up, try it again. We've become inverted lovers, and that's hate. Mm-hmm. Hate is right next to the door to love. They very, hang out. Very judgmental on each other and very, yeah, very tough need, on need, each other. We need grace. I don't know how many Rome characters we'll see in the next 40 years. Rome might put in five characters every year for the next 40 years. You do the math on that, that's three. That's 200-some characters he'll put in. Half of those would be driving him crazy. Mm-hmm. And he's going to be calling Big Bro and going, oh, what do I do? And I'm going to go, I hope your your daughter, who at that point will be you know, 20, whatever, I hope she's like reminding you that you're first and foremost her pops. Because mm-hmm. if you stay connected to the industry and the set so much, you could really, really have a hard turn ahead. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, what do you see ahead for yourself as far as roles that you wish to play moving forward, Rome? Um, I, you know, I, I, I really am careful about declaring what it is I want without fully thinking it through, mm-hmm. only because whatever I say tends to happen. <laughs> um, That's good. But No, it is good, mm-hmm. but sometimes when you're not specific enough, you know what I mean? You ever ask for something? You're yeah, like, God, it's kind of, it's kind of what I want it, but yeah. it's not yeah. exactly. Yeah. yeah. Or not at the like, time you wanted it. Yeah. Like I had a film I wanted to do, and then was specific about my intentions on what the film was, and it, like I said, it just ended up didn't didn't work out. But um, then it ended up being a porno. And you was no, like, not that. No, 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 no. <laughs> Come on now. It, it was some. It was something that he hit me up about. Really? Yeah, it was something else. Yeah. So um, it's just you know navigating this business is less about like. I really want to do this to do that. It's like I get opportunities, but trying to navigate them in a way where I can continue to get those opportunities. Because when you reach a point uh, where you get a lot of visibility, you you get offers for certain things. Um, and a lot of times if it's offered, then, you know, 
it's, it's a lesser quality or lesser um, attention around the film mm -hmm. at, at this point, you know. So for me, I'm just trying to do great work. I yeah. don't care who's a, I don't I don't care what's the vessel like if if the if the film is surrounded with a director that I want to work with. If it's an actor, I want to be opposite of if the script makes sense. That's the only thing I care about. I feel like, I, like you were going to say Marvel for some reason. Well, Marvel is obviously one of those things as, a, as an actor you want to put on your list. It's a staple, right? But it's for me, it's not. I mean, it, it's art, but it's its Gotta own be thing. Right. Gotta be mm -hmm. the it's right its movie. own thing. You know, you can really get into Marvel. And for instance, I'll put it to you like this. If you had opportunity to be Harry Potter, would you do that? That would be a little weird. So I'm saying, but like, and I'm talking <laughs> about in terms of like the totality of this, the impact that character had, yeah. you know, Daniel Radcliffe. I mean, like he played, you know, Harry Potter. And from that point on, he was Harry Potter. Oh, we only see him yeah. You know what I mean? Even now it's like you Harry Potter. So it's like, you just got to be super careful. strategic. You know what I mean? Because you could really, if you love it for the art, right? You love it because you get to be malleable and be these people. Mm -hmm. Then you want to be able to move in and out kind of seamlessly Right. But when you do a character that's so even like Ghost, you know, but he did so great doing other things that you, it was hard for people to pin him, right. even though they wanted to. Yeah. You know, but a guy like, you know, Dan Radcliffe, who's done amazing films since then, you know, you only think about Harry Potter, you think about him in that situation. So for right. me, it's like not trying to be pigeonholed, not trying to do something I've done already. Um, whatever it is, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm embracing that, whether it's more comedy, whether it is an action film, um, I'm, I'm looking for real material right you know and he, what i'm saying and he gets to learn from those you know the predecessors you got an omari hardwick having come from that handcuffing that omari didn't handcuff himself to yeah but that others tried to someone like a rome gets to go i don't want to go through that which i went through and i don't want him to go through that mm -hmm. i'm not big on like no nah, nigga you go through it i went through it i'm not big on that i don't want him to go through that yeah that's, that's amazing I didn't, I didn't get into this to go through that so why would i want that on someone else that's crazy because a lot of people I'm a thespian, do that. I'm a yeah. crafted actor. Be like, let him figure right. it out. Let me so, worry about myself. Yeah, and that's no, the, that's no, not the way. Can't, no, I don't want him to go through that. That's not the look. You want to be able to do, because you got to answer to God on that. No yeah. matter what God you believe in, God is definitely giving you a platform and a purpose on this earth. And you look over to the right and the left, and God's voice is going, yes. And you're going, wait, you're saying yes, that I got to contend with people trying to handcuff me? And God goes, yeah. That doesn't mean I'm taking away what I made you do. Mm -hmm. You can't get out. And yeah. go soak in the corner just because people trying to make you forever Harry Potter or a ghost or, mm -hmm. you know, even Stephen Urkel. I mean, Jaleel White had it oh, bad. Poor, yeah, poor but guy. if your call is still a part of what God has made you be a part of, you got to just keep trugging up the hill mm -hmm. and carry the peoples with you. And so, yeah, I, why would I carry the culture and then not carry the, the same type of players that are in the game? He's in the game with me. Yeah. The fans are not in the game with me. They're fans. But he's in the game. Mm -hmm. So it's like, Rome, if I couldn't pull off stepping away from ghosts, which I know I'll pull off because God's given me the charge to pull it off. Mm -hmm. He knew already. Now, you know, your culture is going to kind of try to handcuff you to some shit. Right. God knew that shit before anybody. Mm -hmm. So I got to I got to keep rocking. But, you know, equally, mm -hmm. it allows a Rome to sit and look at the chessboard and go, hey, big bro, this one role, I know I could body it, but it might make it where they try to choke me with it. Yeah. Should I do it? I'm, I'm going to ask more. I'm going to say, well, what, what, what is in telling? What, what do you have to do? What does the role entail you doing? If he gives me some beautiful things it entails, I might go, bro, you got to do that. Damn, oh, I'm just going to have to deal with the, the aftermath or the fallout if I don't do you know, it justice. Yeah, so do it justice. But if I do it justice, oh, they're going to keep me attached to it. You can deal mm -hmm. with it. I dealt with it. Mm -hmm. That's when I remind him I did it. Yeah. So you got to go through it. But we need more mentorship in the business. We need more... We do. We need more understanding that when Rome and I and Kelly and Marseille go to film festivals, we believe that a film festival should not just be about people going to learn how to direct or act. What about lighting? What about makeup? That's what true. about groomers? Mm -hmm. What about costumers? What about gaffers? There's so many people to the industry that we need, but everything is clickbait. The nah, flashy right. is what sells. I want to be an actor. Why? Front of the camera. <laughs> or I want to be a director. Why? Powerful. I want to be a producer. They got it all. But what about all this other shit we need on set? Mm -hmm. So we need to change the culture in terms of what we make most important. The actor is not most important. I can't stand when actors think they are. If you, <laughs> Damn, think, you're mo if you think you're most important, they're right. going to handcuff you to a character. Right. Mm -hmm. I'm not bigger than the character, nor my castmates playing their characters. Mm -hmm. So let me hide out in a new character. But when you think you're bigger, you go, yeah, that's who I am. Go with it. It's tough. 
I not love a, the pairing in this film. I love the pair with y'all two, even with Kelly and Marseille. It's a, the cast is it's, that's amazing. To me. It's amazing. Hey. You can have your whole plate in front of you, your leftovers, and then you can watch fantasy football. And y'all, y'all had a lot of improv lines in there too. I heard. We had a lot. So yeah, yeah a, y'all could definitely uh, pull it's, something it's, up. It's, with it's that. Rome's birthday too, so everybody give him a shout out when you watch it. It's, oh, it's his yeah. birthday, yeah. the day of the film's release. Yeah, that yeah. was on purpose. Wow. Um, no, well, happy was it on purpose? It wasn't on purpose. I was just like to tell people that, <laughs> you know. Okay, well, happy birthday, Rome. And uh, thank y'all so much thank for coming for by The Morning Hustle Show. Make sure y'all go get that. <laughs> we are The Morning Hustle.